She created a self-titled YouTube channel in 2013 and in just under three years, she has more than 250,000 subscribers to her YouTube channel. Now with her quirky personality and her sisterly advice, Theodora Lee joins me at Media24's Nasdaq. You are thriving. Let me just say that first. Uh, congratulations on the fantastic YouTube channel that you've been hosting for the last three years. Thank you so much. It's so great to see you again. Yeah. Theodora and I actually go way back all the way till uh, Marty studying drama. Yeah. She's obviously the way more successful one. <laughs> well, I don't know. Look at where we are. I mean, I'm really proud of us, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, of course, you studied drama. But where did the whole YouTube bug sort of find you? I've always liked making films. So when I was able to hold the camera without dropping it, I would make little video skits of my family and stuff like that. And then, obviously, there was a performance bug in me, so I did <laughs> study drama. And then while I was at Stellenbosch, I started a vlog, mm. which was kind of like a merge between performance and film and media. And then suddenly I finished studying drama and I had a whole lot more time on my hands. So I thought, oh, I'm just performing, maybe I should just do a YouTube channel. So that's how it all started. Do you remember your first post? Do you know what, what it was about? Can you remember that three years ago? <laughs> I do, yes. So as some of you may know, my brother had started YouTubing just before me. And he had a camera and I didn't uh, at the time. So I stole his camera while he was still in school and I put it up in the cupboard. I didn't have a tripod. And I spoke about how to get a whole load of followers on Twitter, as if I knew. You know, <laughs> as if I knew how you can get so many followers. Um, so that was, I think I was trying to be funny. And it was, it, was a, it was a cool experiment. So you had a strategy going into professional YouTubing? Not really. I feel like every day I'm doing it. But I think at the, after about a year of, of playing around, I decided that my strategy was going to go, I decided that I was going to go the advice route. So, but as I said, day by day, winging it, you never know what's going to happen. When it comes to opportunities, how important do you think uh, platforms like the Weekend 24 platform is? Well, when you have an idea, it's very hard to just go straight at it without a place to post your stuff. And luckily, YouTube was available for me but also the fact that I had already featured in a lot of my brother's YouTube videos as a sort of sisterly character. So from there, I was sort of boosted for my first video. I, I got a thousand views maybe in the first night, which was so great back then. <laughs> so, so not realistic, <laughs> you know. So if you are wanting to do something, it's really great to go and search for places that you can actually get a bit of a boost and a leg up. How do you deal with, with social media trolls, people, Shading you, do you, do you get people like that? I've been so lucky that I don't get it regularly, mm. but I have had it before and I mean, initially it's like a little bit <laughs> horrible, but then you realise actually this guy just, well, I don't know why I think he's a guy, but let's just, let's just say it's a guy. <laughs> this guy probably just really needs a hug mm. and has absolutely no idea what he's talking about, so I'm not really going to give it any more thought. Uh, that's why I don't know. Well, you uh, recently had a fantastic nomination at the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards. Congratulations once Thank again. How did that process work and, and what did it feel like when you got the email or the phone call saying, hey, we're flying you to Los Angeles? <laughs> well, initially I thought that they may have got the wrong person. <laughs> so I just, it just seemed so strange. Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, something that I watched when I was a little kid. Mm. Um, and I, I was a bit skeptical about it in the beginning and then I found out more and that we were actually like, here are your tickets to go. Then I thought, okay, now I can get excited. Yeah, it's happening. Um, and wow, that was quite an adventure. I mean, they, we went to LA and we watched the show and all of a sudden, we, I was in LA. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, it was just it was my mind Um I had a lot of fun. Mm. And, and what's next for Theodore Lee? What can we expect? <sighs> yeah, this is hard. People always ask this. And, the thing is I'm having so much fun with what I'm doing right now and I'm just trying to sustain it and keep it growing. I think that's the thing, you don't really want to see your subscribers going down. So that's really my main aim this year. And then I'm also going to be diving into a personal writing project mm. this year, like full on. It's been something that's been in the background for ages. Mm. And this year I'm like, you know what, I actually need to focus on it. So you never know, there might be some, like a big announcement at some stage this year. So make sure you keep a close eye on Theodora's social media pages, <laughs> uh, subscribe to her YouTube channel, um, loads of interesting content being covered, and of course, a pretty face and a bubbly personality as well. 
Uh, before I say goodbye, I have to play a little game with you. 24 questions in 24 seconds. It's intense. Favorite city in South Africa? Cape Town. Secret local celeb crush? Sorry? Secret local celeb crush. Oh, a dead. Um, wow, that's, that's really interesting. Uh, Graham Richards from Expresso Show. A uh, favorite social media platform? Uh, Instagram. Cool, I'll squeeze in one more. Um, first thing you do in the morning? Turn my alarm off and go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's about it for, for 24 questions in 24 seconds. Thanks so much, best of luck with everything. Um, yeah, we'll be keeping a close eye on your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course your YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Cool. Be sure to check us out on our website www.weekend24.co.za or just like our Facebook page that's facebook.com forward slash weekend24 and follow us on Twitter at weekend24 underscore network.